Barbie people I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you all how to apply press-ons using my favorite method of all time which is acrylic um, as you all can see my natural nails are in desperate need of a manicure I just took off a set um, that I had on for about six weeks it actually was another set of press-ons I'm going to go ahead and leave um, the link to that video down in the description box below but in that video I applied my press-ons using solid nail glue and today I'm going to be applying them using acrylic so these are my press-on nails of choice you all already know I am obsessed with the BT Art Box press-on nails but this is their X coat tips you guys these are just like applying acrylic nails to your natural nails and so um, yeah this one comes with 150 pieces and it is 15 sizes and so I have already um, sized out all of my nails so I'm all ready to go okay and one of the first things you guys want to do is etch the inside of your press on nails okay um, well actually even before that one of the things you want to ensure that you do with your press ons is that they fit sidewall to sidewall um, and so you know these press ons fit really good for me uh, sidewall to sidewall so um, first thing you want to do like I said is go ahead and etch the inside of the tip so I'm going to go in with my Melody Susie e-file pen and so you want to do this step to all of the nails it's not necessary it's not a hundred percent necessary with these particular press-ons because they actually come already matte so you really don't need to etch the inside of them but I like to do it um, just to be in the habit of doing it because it's a good practice to have when you're doing um, press on nails with these different type of methods that I show um, and in case you all um, didn't know I actually do have a press on nail series I'll go ahead and leave that link down in the description box below but that shows different ways of applying press on nails either using acrylic poly gel um, rubber base builder gel hard gel nail glue um, peel off base plus nail glue adhesive tabs all of the all of the above I've got various ways that I apply them if there is a way that you all would like to see me apply press-ons that I haven't done already definitely let me know down in the description box below so once you etch the inside of all the tips then you're then you want to go ahead and prep your nails. Um, but before I do that, I want to show you all exactly everything you're going to need. I'm going to be going in with this uh, clear acrylic from Young Nails. This is actually one of my favorite acrylics to use for this method. I found that it lasts the longest. Um, so I'll be going in with my Young Nails in uh, Speed Clear. I'm going to go in with my Young Nails Monomer. I'm also going to be using my Young Nails Swipe to dehydrate my nails. And I'll also be using my Young Nails Primer. Uh, protein bond um, I found that the young nail system like I said gets me the longest long longevity that's just about it um, this is my dappin dish that I'll be using to put the monomer in so um, yeah I'm gonna go ahead and prep my nails off camera and I'll be right back alrighty so my nails are all prepped and ready to go I do have a dedicated video that shows how I prep my nails and get them ready for acrylic and or um, gel application I have my dappin dish here again I'm gonna go in with my uh, monomer from Young Nails. I'm just gonna pour this in here. I've actually just finished this bottle, so I'm ready for my next bottle of monomer, you guys. This one's done. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just use this this acrylic brush here, and this one is also from Young Nails. This is the acrylic sculptor brush. Um, so I'm gonna use this for my application. Next, I'm gonna go in with my clear acrylic. Speed clear. Oh, another thing I wanted to say too, the speed clear is different than the core clear. I like to use the speed clear because it dries a lot quicker. Next, I'm going to go in with a swipe and this is just going to be to remove all the dust and debris from the nails. Okay, so the nails are all prepped, ready to go. Now I'm going to go in with my protein bond. This is a really important key to ensure longevity. So I'm going to apply this. I'm going to apply two layers of this to all the nails. Next, it's time to go in with the actual application itself. I do have all of my nails sized out and ready to go. With the acrylic application, I wanna show you guys how I pick up the bead, okay? So the first thing you wanna do is you will go into the monomer and saturate your brush, okay? I'm gonna tap on the side of the dish three times. I'm gonna come over here and pick up a bead. One, two, three. This should be enough, okay? What you want to do is you'll go ahead and apply that to the actual nail itself and spread it out a little bit. 
okay and a little bit of acrylic goes a long way next you want to take your um, press on nail and this is essentially going to be the glue so what you do is you'll take it and you'll slightly tuck the nail underneath the cuticle okay and then you'll press down you'll keep pressing keep pressing keep pressing until um, the monomer starts to um, cure or until the the acrylic starts to cure you'll keep pressing down applying pressure You'll do this for about, I would say 30 seconds to a minute, okay? Okay, so that looks good. So before it fully cures, you'll go ahead and you will take your um, cuticle pusher and you'll just go ahead and remove that acrylic before it fully cures. So I'm gonna take that off. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off on the sides here. All right, really easy to just go ahead and scrape off. And then underneath the nail, I'll also go ahead and remove the product, like so. Alrighty, and then that is that. And so yeah, that is the first nail applied and ready to go. You go ahead and repeat this process on the nail. So I'll go ahead and do that one more time here on this nail. And again, what you want to do is saturate your brush like so. Tap on the side three times. Now I'll pick up a bead. One, two, three. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply it to the nail itself. And then spread it out. And you'll want to play around with the consistency of the bead to get it nice and right for you. Um, but after you do that, you'll want to go ahead and take the um, press on nail, slightly tuck it underneath your cuticle and then press, 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 press. And it's okay if there's spillage coming out. You saw that, that acrylic that's coming out on the sides. That is actually okay. Because what we're gonna do is, like I did on that first nail, you're gonna go ahead and remove it with that cuticle pusher. So you just let it set for a little bit. Like I said, about 30 seconds to a minute, you'll just hold this in place. And because it is a speed drying acrylic, it doesn't take too long for it to get to a point where you're able to go ahead and scrape it off. Um, but yeah, you just press, 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 press. Okay, so once you have it pressed and ready to go, you'll go ahead and on the side of the nails, go ahead and remove that acrylic before it sets all the way. And it's really easy to remove. Just take it off just like that. Same thing on this side. You just scrape it right on off like so. Okay, and it flicks right on off. And underneath the nail, you'll do the same thing. You'll just want to remove that acrylic before it sets like so yep and you're good to go so then you have no acrylic underneath the nail and then the nails are all on and ready to go so yeah y'all this is one of my favorite ways to apply press on nails it has great longevity and not only that but um, this method works with any type of press on nails. So if your press on nails are opaque and um, you've tried to apply them a gel and the light doesn't seep through, this method works with any type of press on nails because um, it doesn't need light to cure. Okay, I'm going to show you all this one more time. So saturate the brush, tap, tap, tap. One, two, three. Okay, pick up a bead. Okay, set it down like so. And you spread it out. And so then, again, well, another thing I like to do too is I like to kind of tap into the acrylic at the cuticle area of the um, bead that's there. And then you'll go ahead and slightly tuck it and then press down. And by doing that, it also ensures that um, the acrylic is, it covers the full surface of the press on nail. Oh, now I'm having it spewage at my cuticle, but that's okay. And again, Press down for 30 seconds, wait until it starts to cure a little bit, gets a little gummy, and then you'll be good to go. So yeah, just keep pressing down. This is really easy. This takes about, I don't know, I would say about 10 minutes to apply. It's just as quick as the other methods actually, but this is the method that lasts the longest for me. This one lasts up to four weeks, four plus weeks actually. Um, 
and I'll probably be keeping these on for a while because um, I'm at a point right now where I don't have time to do my nails which is why you all haven't seen as much nail content for me but I'm hoping um, that one of these weekends I can get some free time and just do a lot of batch recording and get back to uploading regularly because I got so many cool things I want to show you guys oh my gosh but yeah anywho um, yeah, you just keep pressing and then from there, you'll go ahead and take your cuticle pusher and again, any spillage you have here, like this spillage right here, you'll just go ahead and uh, scrape that away like so and it's really easy for it to come off. So you see it just pops right on off there. Same thing at the cuticle area, you'll just go ahead and scrape it off of the nail, okay. And same thing over here, just scrape it on off. Super easy to do, super quick, you don't need a light or anything. And then underneath the nail, you'll go ahead and remove it like so, okay? So that is that, y'all. Don't this look good though? Okay, loving it, loving it, loving it. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and apply the rest of the nails off camera and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so all the nails have been fully applied and I am absolutely loving how the nails look so far. Now I'm going to go in with some um, base and top coat. I'm actually going to be using one that I got from BT Art Box. Um, hi. Hi. How you doing? I have a special guest, you guys. Uh, she actually just put in a request to get her nails did. So we're going to take a quick intermission and let's do some nails. My little one wants her nails did. So we are expanding in our choice collection, okay? Um, last time, this was the color she used, so let's see what color she picks this time. Are you ready? Yes. You ready to get your nails did? Yeah. Nails? Feet. You want your feet done too? Yes. Oh, girl, okay, you got a lot of demands today. Yo, oh. <laughs> I'm the nail technician today. Yes. She wants her nails and her toes done. Okay, so which color do you want? Uh, you want the red again? Yes. Okay, we can do red again. Okay, you ready? Yes. Okay, so. Okay, guys, so I'm going to be going in with the yes. LA Colors Color Craze Nail Polish in the color. I don't even know what color this is. It's her favorite color. <laughs> um, Y'all can see it's a lot of use out of it so far. So, but let me go ahead and shake it up. No, don't touch. Go ahead and shake it up. Okay, there we go. Okay, so. Come on, I can't get this thing open. Okay, there we go. Hey, little mommy. You're welcome, girl. Let me see how it's going like this. Okay, you ready? Yes. Okay, you want in just like that, okay? Alright, and you just hold it still, okay? That's feet. You want me to do your feet too? Yes. Okay, I'll do your feet. Uh, <laughs> you like it? Don't touch it. Yeah, don't touch it. Good job. Yeah, you gotta let it dry. You remember. Uh oh. Hold on, don't move. I miss when manicures used to be this easy, you guys. Like five seconds. <laughs> but what's funny is every time I do her nails, like they don't even last long. Like this will probably last like all of like an hour. <laughs> before it's all chipped away. But she likes getting her nails done because she sees mommy getting her nails done. Bless you. Bless you. Is that right, Yara? Is that right? Yes. You want to do your ABCs? No. No? Please? Yeah. Come on, A, B. You don't want to do them? Yeah. Go ahead, sing your ABCs. Sing your ABCs. No. Okay. All right, y'all. So hold on, y'all. Don't move too much. Wait, wait, wait. So this is what her nails are looking like. Say, ain't she cute though? Ain't she cute? Yeah, it is cute. Yeah. Okay, y'all. We're gonna go ahead and let it air dry, and then I'm gonna come back. No, no touch. Then I'm gonna come back and show you all how I finish off my nail set. Yeah. Uh, you wanna say bye? Yeah. Say bye. Bye. Okay. So intermission is over. Little one is watching some TV, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to finish up the rest of these nails. Um, so again, this is how they look after application. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the X Coat Tips Builder Gel and Top Coat. Um, this is also from BT Art Box, um, and I found that this system with the BT Art Box press on, like the press on nails, and this, 
y'all it's like you just got a full acrylic set done so i'm gonna go in with the builder gel and then we'll go ahead and finish off with that top coat before you do anything to the nose you want to go ahead and take a lint free little wipe and spray it down with some alcohol and that's just going to clean any dust and debris from the nails so i'll do that really quick Now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and you don't is there's not a lot of it but that little tab here that most press on nails have you want to go through and just file that off of all of the nails so I'm gonna go ahead and go through and do that really quick and that's going to give it a more natural look and I like to file up when I have these type of nails on just so that I don't disrupt the French tip design and then I crisp in the edge and I'll go under it just to make sure the whole tap is gone you'll go ahead and go in with the X coat tips builder gel and you apply that to all the nails Flip for 10 seconds and cure for 60. So now that the builder gel has been cleared, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the uh, X Coat Tips top coat and then we'll get into the finished look, okay? Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay, you can put it here. You can put it here. Thank you. Thank you, sweetie. Oh. That's okay. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Alrighty, y'all, they are looking so good. So now, last thing left to do is just to go in with some cuticle oil. I'm going to go in with one of my new favorite cuticle oils, which is Loved by Verdi, and it's in the flavor Green Apple or the scent Green Apple. I say flavor because y'all, this stuff smells so good you almost want to eat it but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and apply um my cuticle oil to all my cuticles and we're gonna get into the finished look okay all right you guys ain't she cute though yes i'm absolutely loving how these nails turned out y'all cannot tell me i did not just go to the salon and get them done i absolutely love using um acrylic to apply press-ons because it really does give that salon quality look it really does look like i just went to the shop and got my nails did y'all i'm absolutely loving how this turned out so let me know what's your favorite way of applying press-on nails um i think acrylic is by far my favorite and the easiest and quickest i think um and so yeah i'm gonna come back with the with the two week update um maybe even a one month update we'll see how long i end up keeping these on but yeah i hope you all enjoyed the application and i'll see you soon okay happy people i am back with a quick update it has been exactly one week later the nails are holding up really good um as you all can see there's absolutely no lifting um, applying my press-ons with acrylic is absolutely my favorite way of applying press-ons okay um, this here you can see what the new growth is looking like there's not much of it at all so the nails still look like I actually just did them no new growth no new growth no new growth now disregard my little crusty cuticles y'all because I actually didn't even put on no cuticle oil but as you can see there is no new um but as you can see there's no lifting now the only thing that has been going on with these nails you guys is that for some reason the bt art box top coat started lifting i'm not exactly sure what happened because the last time i did my nails <clears throat> with the bt art box products um i didn't have any issues with that and so um i want to just show you guys really quick but you all can see that there's slight lifting here and that lifting is causing dirt and debris to get underneath my nail which is like is really bothering me so I'm getting ready to try to peel off this top coat so as y'all can see right here you see how it's just peeling from the corner all this dirt and debris and got stuck in my nail it's just it's not a good look right so I'm gonna try to see if I can repair that but the actual application with acrylic itself is holding up strong it's holding up well so let's see if we can get this off I'm gonna just try to peel one on camera with you guys 
and then I'll peel off the rest off camera. So let's see, yeah, let's just do this now. This was actually the first one that started lifting on me. So I'm gonna go underneath. You see how the thing, how the tweezers can go underneath here? That means that it's lifting, right? You see, so I'm gonna just try to peel, peel this top coat off if I can here. I'm gonna just try to peel it off as best I can. Yeah, y'all see? I'm not sure what happened here, and now I just messed up my little design. So, okay, so what I'm gonna end up doing here is just uh, buffing off the, um, I'm gonna just buff off the top coat on all of the nails, and then I'm just probably just gonna paint over the nails with like a different uh, color. Um, but the application with the acrylic is still here, um, and we'll see how long the, the new nail design lasts. But um, if this isn't gonna peel off in one little layer, which I thought it would, I won't be able to salvage these. Oh, it makes me sad. Dang. You know, I was really in the mood for some French tips too, so it makes me so sad. But yeah, y'all, um, I don't know what happened with this top coat, but it started peeling on this this round. But uh, again, I'm gonna go ahead and just buff off the top of all these nails, and then we'll do a quick little gel mani. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of the nails like this and I'll be right back. This is what the nails look like after I filed off the French tip, filed shape, buff the nails. And I'm gonna go in with my Young Nails Primer here and that's just um, gonna be to make sure that the gel adheres properly to the nail. So I'm gonna apply that to the entire surface of all the nails. Next, I want to try out some new products. I actually got in this um, Gayoi uh, gel base and top coat. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with this gel base coat and apply this to all the nails. I'm going to test this out, see if it's any good. I do like the formula of this. Cure for 60. All right, now that the base coat has been applied, I'm going to go ahead and go in with this really beautiful color from Madame Glam. This was part of their Think Pink collection, so I'm gonna apply this on all the fingers. Except for my ring finger, I'm just gonna go in with this cute little glitter from Nail Reserve and apply top coat, and then we'll get into the finished look. Alrighty, so this is what the nails are looking like so far. Now I'm gonna go in with this top coat from Gayoi. And I did wanna to mention too that this two pack that I got off Amazon, it was only $5 and some change, you guys. So it's a really good deal for a base and a top coat and it's a, si a 16 ml bottle, which is the biggest I've seen um, for any type of gel polish or base or top coat. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the top coat. Um, I do like the consistency of it as well. Um, it seems like it's like a, it seems like it, the formula is thin, but it's a medium viscosity, which is interesting. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to all the nails. Soap levels beautifully. All right, you guys. Ain't she cute though? Yes, I am loving how the set turned out. So this is how my revamped press on nails look um, that French tip wasn't didn't quite hold up too too well but the nails are still on strong so I'm gonna go ahead and leave them on for like another week or so and I'll come back with another update um, but I hope that you all like this look it's really simple really cute I ended up going in with uh, Venice Beach from Madam Glam and Paradise Peach from nail reserve so yeah let me know what you guys think and i'll be back with a quick update all right happy people i am back with a two-week update um since i've applied my press on nails using acrylic um and this is actually one week later since i changed out the design so this is how everything is holding up so far um holding up really good um i've gotten a lot of compliments on this nail set and i'm loving how it looks um y'all can see just a little bit of new growth not a whole lot but just a smidge and then on this hand just a little bit of new growth as well the thumbnail did pop off um and that's because there was slight lifting in the corner and then honestly i just kept on prying at it until it popped off so um the thumbnail did pop off but all the other nails are intact absolutely no lifting at all um definitely applying acrylic 
I mean, applying press-ons with acrylic is my favorite way of doing it. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and reapply this nail with super glue, and I'll be back with another week or two-week update. Okay, happy people, I am back with a quick update, and this is how the nails are looking after exactly three weeks of wear. And I must say, the um, press-ons with acrylic, they're holding up nicely. Um, you all can see the new growth here, um, ever so slight new growth. Um, and yeah, for three weeks, I think they look really good. Um, absolutely love this method for applying press-ons. This nail did pop off, and I just applied it with some super glue. Uh, but none of the other nails have popped off. Absolutely no lifting. Oh, well, actually, there is a little bit of lifting here. I just noticed that. But no lifting here. No lifting here. No lifting here. No lifting here. Y'all know this one popped off, but I put it back on with super glue as well. No lifting here. No lifting here. No lifting. No lifting, uh, ever so slight lifting. So overall, just this finger and this finger has very slight lifting. But yeah, I think applying press-ons with acrylic really is my favorite way to apply press-ons, especially when you have press-on nail designs that are already fully opaque. So a design like this would be better to apply with acrylics than it would be with like a builder gel or something that you need to cure in order to get the nails to hold on. I know I get that question a lot in my videos. Um, so if I had to choose a way to apply press-ons oh, above all else, it would be with acrylic just because I found that you can use it with any design and it does last the longest. But um, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts. What's the longest you all have gotten wear out of press-on nails that you've used and what was your application method? Okay, happy people, I'm back with another update on how these nails are holding up. It is exactly one month later and they're holding up really good. You all can see the new growth here here and here as well as the new growth on this hand here here and here and um, yeah these are the thumbs again there is lifting on my thumb there's lifting here no lifting here no lifting here some lifting on the pinky lifting on the index these two fingers did pop off but I put them back on with super glue no lifting on the thumb but the um, uh, this the middle finger starting to lift a little bit no lifting here, no lifting, oh, slight lifting here. So, yeah, applying my press-ons with acrylics is my favorite way to apply press-on nails. It's the way that I found easiest to get the longest uh, wear out of uh, press-on nails. And the nice thing about this method, too, is that um, you're able to use this method with any type of press-on nail. It doesn't have to be like a translucent or jelly type of press-on nail or a French tip like you have to do with gel nails. Um, with these, you can use a fully designed, fully opaque nail um, and apply them with acrylic and you can get over a month of wear. I do have another video in which I did um, a wear test with press-ons with acrylic. I'm gonna leave that video um, linked down in the description box below. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed. And I'm going to go ahead and soak these bad boys off. Stay tuned for a future video. I'm going to show you all how I actually remove these nails. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. If you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around. Join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below. And I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye.